I'm Blair with Weisscraft Handmade, and it's Quilting and Answer Thursday. Each week, I share video tips to help us all be better quilters, and today let's talk about the quarter inch seam allowance. When I started quilting, I thought of the seam allowance as ish and what i mean is i knew that the goal was to hit the seam allowance but if it was a little bit big ish or small ish that it was okay well it turns out that actually makes things harder if you're a new quilter your seams won't line up and you're left pulling and tugging pieces to get them to fit together. So let's avoid that and get it right. If you're new to quilting or if you just want to quilt better, it all starts with the seam allowance. Do you know if you have a quarter inch seam allowance foot? Now most sewing machines come equipped with a standard foot and this was the standard number one foot that came on my sewing machine and it has about a 3 8 inch seam allowance and that means that from where the needle goes down into the fabric to the edge of this presser foot is about 3 8 That's pretty standard for presser feet that you get with all-purpose machines. Would that be okay for quilting? Not really, not ideal, because it's gonna create a lot of extra bulk behind your patchwork. When you add that little bit of seam allowance across a whole quilt, it can add to the bulk. And also it just wastes fabric over an entire quilt, and you don't wanna do that. Many machines also come with something called a quarter inch or patchwork foot. Mine happened to come with one, and what this is, is from where, or where the needle enters the fabric to the edge of the presser foot is a quarter inch seam allowance, which is the standard in quilting. If you don't have a patchwork foot or a quarter inch foot, sometimes you can order those presser feet as an add-on and if you plan on making a lot of quilts it might be a good idea to look into that also mark it on your sewing machine bed so to do that i use either washi tape or a stack of post-it notes and i measure with a ruler from where the needle goes down into the fabric to a quarter inch away from that to the right on my sewing machine bed. And I mark that uh, here, marking it with a long piece of washi tape down my machine bed so that when I'm sewing, I can get my pieces into position before they get underneath the presser foot so that I've got it all lined up. Once you set up your sewing machine with either a quarter inch patchwork foot or you mark a quarter inch on your machine bed, you're going to want to do a seam allowance test. This is sort of a variation of a gauge swatch in knitting, but much less painful. You're going to take two pieces of fabric. I have two pieces here, both cut at two and a quarter inches. So just measure and cut two pieces of fabric that are that are two and a quarter inches wide. Then you're gonna use either the markings of the quarter inch that you put on your sewing machine bed or your patchwork foot. And you're gonna sew a quarter inch away from that edge with your sewing machine foot. Then you're gonna press it open and then you're gonna measure across now the measurement that you get should be four inches. So if I measure these, it measures four inches across. If for some reason it doesn't, then you need to go back and tweak your either needle setting. Sometimes you can move your needle over slightly from left to right, or you may need to remark your sewing machine bed. Term a scant quarter inch. 
applied to quilting and seam allowances. And a scan quarter itch is exactly what it sounds like. It's literally a thread or two shy of a full quarter inch. And the reasoning behind a scan quarter inch is that it accounts for the fold over of the fabric. So when I fold this fabric over like this, I'm actually eating up, so to speak, a thread or two in the fold over process when I press the seam allowances. So a scant quarter inch will sometimes be called for in different patterns. And if it calls for that specifically, pay attention to that. Be mindful of that when you're sewing. As a personal choice, if you're just sewing patchwork, you can choose to use a quarter inch or a scant quarter inch yourself and just stick with whatever you choose and you'll be fine. I'd love to hear if you have any tips for quilting with a quarter inch seam allowance. In the meantime, you can find more tools, patterns, tips, and tutorials at my website, Wisecraft Handmade, and I will see you next week.